on this edition of the HGTV Morning Announcements. Stepping in time, multiple deadlines, and eating some pastries that don't taste like lime. The news starts now. Please stand. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. What's up, everyone? I'm Rick. This is Carl. No, this is Patrick. And this is lunch. In lines one and two, we're going to have orange chicken. Line three, we're going to have barbecue. That's about it. Line four, sauce and gravy and flatbread pizza. And line five, as usual, closed. And a happy birthday goes out to you, Jesus Gil Giosa, Brian Hernandez Nunez, and Italia Rescon. With a staff appearance from Mrs. Bauer? No, no, now over to sports with my man, Nick. Thanks, Dallas. The varsity baseball team came from behind to beat Northwestern Monday evening by a score of seven to five in eight innings. Connor Boone pitched a strong seven innings to get the win and Benito Lopez threw a perfect inning for the save. Christian Lopez and Brayden Compton had three hits apiece, and Deacon Spencer had an inside the park home run. The team is now eight and five on the season. There are a few reschedulings, rescheduling for events that were canceled yesterday. The varsity golf team match versus Lafayette Harrison has been rescheduled to May 10th at 4.30. The varsity girls tennis match that was canceled yesterday has now been rescheduled for tomorrow at five. Our good luck goes out to the softball team who will be hosting Southmont 530, the baseball team who will also be hosting Southmont with the first pitch being thrown at 6, the track team who will be traveling to Lebanon, the girls tennis team who is hosting Lebanon at 5, and last but not least the boys golf team who will be hosting Clinton Central at 4. That's all the sports for today. Take it away Dallas. Practices for the, this summer's marching band will be held Monday, May 6th, and Wednesday, May 8th, from 4 to 8, from 4 to 5.15. Anyone, in, anyone is welcome to join the band. Today is the deadline for, to sign up for the student ambassador's position in the office. Sign up now. Again, friendly reminder. The dodgeball fundraiser the boys' tennis team is organizing is coming up really soon. So if you ha want to sign up, it is $2 a person to play. Prizes, medals, and more will be handed out to for the participants of the event. Get more info at the bookstore, Dodge That Wrench. Yesterday was the last day of early summer school. Congratulations to all the students who have recovered credits. In case you still need to recover a credit, come to Maymester. FHS will host Maymester beginning Wednesday, May 1st, and continues through the 17th. Class sessions will again be from 3 to 6 p.m. Although there is no transportation for this session, however, so make sure you have a ride if you attend. This Friday, May 3rd, will be the last day to check out new library books before the end of the school year. All library books will be due back by Friday, May 10th. Digital books will be available all summer. See Mrs. Willoughby if you have any questions. And prom tickets will only be sold until Friday, so if you're gonna and you're gonna need a permission slip to use them, so get those at the bookstore. Now with prom coming up and you probably wanted to keep breathing beyond prom night, here's Mrs. McDonald and Officer Booth with some tips on how to do that. Um, make sure parents know where you are and what you're doing so that your parents aren't worrying. Um, if you go out to eat, if you go to a movie, let them know. Um, Stay away from locations where alcohol and drugs may be present, and do not get in a vehicle with someone who may have been drinking. Again, I think uh, the students probably should go somewhere that's going to be chaperoned with, uh, with parents, uh, uh, somewhere they, they, they trust and they, they know the people. Uh, just a safe place for students to go that's uh, not going to have any type of uh, alcoholic beverages or or anything that uh, might get them in trouble. I think it's important for students to uh, go to an atmosphere after the uh, prom uh, where it's either going to be chaperoned very well or they're with people they trust. Uh, in an area where they know it's not going to be any uh, danger to them whatsoever uh, as far as like alcoholic beverages or anything like that. 
And by chance they find themselves in an area or a situation like that, uh, they pr probably should create some type of uh, like a, a safety code or something they can text to their parents uh, to uh, let them know they're in a situation so they can come and get them uh, out of this environment. Well, I'll say that I'll be recovering from the Kiwanis Pancake Breakfast, which is happening from 6.30 to 10 that morning. So I probably won't make it to prom. And I'll need a mental break after the state academic bowl competition. Maybe a nap too, so no prom for me. That's it for the daily announcements. Please remember to like and subscribe and watch for more news and updates while I leave you with this quote that some of you may get. I love you 3000 from Avengers Endgame. I don't know why Outcast made an appearance in Endgame, but I won't complain. Andre 3000 is a heck of an entertainer. Have a good day.